So we're using FastServe Ingest to record an incoming feed. A key feature of FastServe Ingest is the ability to simultaneously record both high-res media and a high-quality low bitrate proxy. This workflow can enable hundreds of users to all work with the same media at the same time, reducing the time it takes to publish to air or to those critical social media channels. So let's take a look at how quickly we can turn this feed around using Media Central Cloud UX. This time in Media Central Cloud UX, as well as looking at my Media Central production system, I'm also accessing my Media Central newsroom system. And here I've got a rundown and I have a story that I'm working on. So let's go ahead and access the clip that's coming in. Just double click and it launches into the video player. Now again, I can see it's an incoming feed because of this flashing orange box, but of course I can play the clip back. So the media is coming in and at the same time, I can access it to work with it. Now I could be logging with this clip coming in, but in this case, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to edit a sequence. Now I have my story here, it's linked to a sequence in my Media Central production system. So let me open up the timeline view. Here I have my timeline. I'm gonna hide this view here because I want to see the video a bit better. So I can simply do that by doing that. And now I can come in and I can mark in and out and begin to use these shots. So let's take the shot at the start here. Let me scroll through a little bit to the end so we see the, the zoom out. And now I'm gonna mark this as an out and simply drag and drop this into my timeline. Now again, I can see that this is a feed that is coming in. If I scroll forward into the feed itself, you know it tells me it's captured in progress, but I can work with as much material as I've got uh, coming into the system with only a few seconds delay. So let me just go back here and I can begin to play it back and I can see some more shots. So let me take this one and again, just mark in and out. A lot of smoke coming out there and add into the timeline as well. Now, of course, in the timeline here, I have multiple audio tracks. I could go in and I could record voiceover. And all I would need to do now if I wanted to publish this content is to access any of our systems. Now, of course, in Media Central Cloud UX, I can publish the social media using Media Central Publisher. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to send this content to a fast serve playout in order for it to be played out in the studio itself. So now I've saved my sequence, I just need to open up the Publish app. And using the Publish app, I can send the sequence to our FastServe playout. So here, all I need to do is get my sequence. Here is my sequence, which of course I can review. Play it back, no problem. Everything's okay there. Simply drag and drop. The system will automatically pick up the video ID that's been allocated to the story because the story and the sequence are linked together. And once I'm done, all I need to do is hit publish. And what this does is starts a background process to transfer this clip into the FastServe Playout system.